Hey, this episode of the podcast is sponsored by Beyond Water, which is an incredible company with water that's just so pure, it's going to actually change the way that you look at your whole nutrition. I mean, because the owner of, a, of the company is a friend of mine. And the knowledge that he has about nutrition is off the charts. So it, it's a it's a lifestyle. It's a it's a way to develop your health, and it starts with water. You know, because we're whatever seventy eighty percent water. And so it it really does in the end change the structure of who you are. It's incredible. So I'm going to have him on the podcast soon enough, and he's going to start to break it down for you guys. Uh, I've heard about, say, 12 to 15 hours worth of knowledge about him speaking to me about this water and this company and his uh, thought process towards nutrition and, like, self-development. And I'm telling you, it wears me out just hearing it because it really challenges everything that I know. And uh, the stuff he knows about, like, gut bacteria and all this stuff it's it's real cool so if anyone wants to learn more slide on over to his youtube channel beyond water and he's got a couple videos up there and you can hear him talk about it you know and learn more and it's uh really a cool thing so check it out thanks beyond water okay All right, so the main thing to say is other people's opinions. This is a topic that is challenging to get your mind around. But let's just crack right in to the main point, which is other people's opinions of you honestly has realistically no value it it just it can't possibly have value because like 80 or 90 percent of people don't have integrity like their lives are completely haphazard and fucked up badly so they their opinions just don't have any value so what they say about you isn't useful It's not like you were a bodybuilder and then you went to see a posing coach and asked that posing coach for instructions on how you should better pose. And so he could point out the ways that you might improve your routine. So that would be constructive criticism. So that opinion has value. But the average person that is speaking about you talking about you uh, like nitpicking about how your life is going <laughs> it, it's useless it, it it's just utter fucking uselessness and I can give you an example like I have lo- I have like long hair you know what they call now the man bun well I had this for like eight years now so when I started it was not popular no one really had this haircut. I, I just sort of had it in my mind that it was what I wanted. So I began to grow my hair out. And nobody around me had this kind of hair. No one in my neighborhood had it. It wasn't something that was acceptable. And I faced truly relentless uh, like opposition. Like, like people really had a problem with it. Like it, it's fucked up and it's, it's actually scary to see how people react to something that they don't quite understand. Like, why? Why are you having long hair? Like, it, make, like fit in. So people just really want you to fit into their frame of reality. And so when you don't fit in, it's like the only thing they, this is most people, this is 80, 90% of people. 
they just want to hurt you as much as they can so that you will you will go back into a frame that makes sense to them so i faced a lot of that and over time it i realized that oh okay these you know these people are just saying that they aren't actually thinking it out they're just you know scared because they don't really understand and then the really truly profound thing that happened was after some years went by it kind of became popular to have long hair to have this so-called man bun and what happened was those it truly the exact same people who who constantly and relentlessly had to tell me how much they didn't like the hair. I mean, they really had to tell me. Like, what happened was, when it became socially acceptable, those very same people came around and said, oh yeah, it's, oh, I like it. Right, so, so when it was convenient, they disliked it. And then when it was convenient, they did like it. So it was only out of convenience. Their opinion was only based on convenience, not out of their own integrity. So what I realized was it, it was valueless. And so that also helped me to see that when, the, when those uh, people told me, hey, I like you, I really like your hair, it didn't have any effect on because I had already seen them say, hey, I don't like it. So it was, either way, I saw, well, it makes no difference because you're just saying what's convenient. So that is a story and it explains to you how you can engage with the opinions of others. Uh, for the most part, does not matter. And it actually is like scary in the end because you realize it's completely up to you how, how you live. It, it's 100% up to you. And, and you have to make up your own opinion about your life and how you see things. And then other people just fall in line with that. So if I say, you know what, having a long hair is really cool. Well, at first people will just resist that. No, it's not. I really hate it. You're really dumb. Okay. But I just carried on saying that. And then over time, oh, well, it's really cool. Well, of course, because that's what I'm saying. So if I, um, so it, you, you realize that it makes, I could choose whatever hair style I wanted and expect the exact same results. Some people would say they don't like it. And then over time, those same people would then say they do like it, just out of convenience. So what you need to do is make your dreams convenient. So you make your ideas of what you want you just sort of break down the resistance to it so that it becomes easier for your dreams to take place. It becomes easier for people to say that they like you or say that, oh, that makes sense. Or if you go around saying like, hey, I'm going to be really successful. You just keep believing that. Just, of course, I'm going to be successful. Other people will just kind of accept that as reality over time. Oh, I guess he's successful. <laughs> it's, it actually becomes fun. It, over, you know, it, it really does. Like I, I actually am getting enjoyment out of, out of life now because I can, I can see that people, they'll just kind of part way. They'll just be like, oh, I guess he's successful. I guess he's, I guess he's important. And uh, then you can just kind of be like, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> because, uh, you, you know, you can see that it's, you're choosing your own path. You're, you, you create your own life. You're the hero of your own story. Blah, blah, blah. So that's the uh, that's the episode for today. Please like and subscribe, and 
like actually leave a comment because it really would mean a lot to me. Like I come on to YouTube and check to see if anyone's liked my stuff and subscribed. And I actually, I'm telling you, I will read, every, I'm reading every comment. So if you have anything to say, uh, definitely write it down. Ideas for the podcast, questions, if you want to be a guest, um, fire it off and we'll, uh, we'll hook something up. Uh, negative comments, like haters and all that. I actually haven't had it yet. I'm expecting some. <laughs> well, you know what? I should actually reframe that. I'm expecting all positive. So I'd love to see it. All right. Peace out.